We are at Kennesaw Mountain National Battlefield Park in Kennesaw, Georgia. The battle took place in 1864, um, late June, and was actually part of a larger campaign known as the Atlanta Campaign. Abraham Landis was an assistant surgeon for the 35th Ohio Volunteer, Infantry Volunteer Group. He was actually here during the battle working on a soldier and, and trying to help that soldier um, with his injuries when he was hit in the leg by a cannonball and survived and refused to have his leg amputated. Abraham Landis goes back to Ohio, has his family. In 1866, two years after the battle here, Kennesaw Mountain Landis is born and so they named him Kennesaw Mountain um, because of the impact that uh, the battle had on his father. Historically, uh, Kennesaw is spelled with one N. Pre-war, one N for Kennesaw. Post-war has two Ns. Kennesaw Mountain Landis actually has the historic spelling of the name of Kennesaw. Kennesaw Mountain Landis was an outlaw judge whose verdicts were frequently overturned, but was something of a self-promotional genius. Baseball ran into a real problem with the Black Sox scandal of 1919. Major League Baseball knew it had to clean up its act and they were desperate for a czar, not, not merely a commissioner, but someone who would act swiftly and decisively. So Landis was seen as the savior of the game. The most valuable player had a history the, uh, before Landis came on the scene and that was the Chalmers Award. The MVP award, um, as currently constituted, starts in the 20s and had somewhat different rules. So Babe Ruth, for example, won it in 1923 and was not permitted to win it again, even though he might have. The American League did not permit repeat winners until 1929 or 30, and the National League likewise. It is kind of neat to see how um, history really links back to each other from um, the first baseball commissioner um, being named after Kennesaw Mountain and the Braves being a big part of um, the city of Atlanta and how it all ties in together. A war that split us apart ultimately brings us together too. It's really neat how little ties and, and different aspects of life really come back together and how we're actually not that spread apart and we really come together as a whole.